What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this super quick guide, I'll be showing you how to install and use Ultimate Vocal Remover 5, an open source audio taker reporter AI. This is what I'll be showing you. Ultimate Vocal Remover 5 is an open source free piece of software that you can download and use on your own system in order to separate vocals, backing sounds, and even sometimes particular sounds or effects from music or audio on your system. If you're trying to remix a song and you want just the vocal stem or just the instrument, if you're going to be doing karaoke over it or anything like that, this is a software that you should probably be using. Completely free and completely open source too. It's relatively new, seems to be about eight months old, but it works absolutely fantastically. So without further ado, I'll show you how to install it, use it, use it well, and show you exactly just how good it is. You can see timestamps in the description down below and on the play bar as well. First of all, downloading and installing. You'll find a link to ultimatevocalremover.com. You can click the download button here that takes you across to the latest release on their GitHub. Scrolling down here, you'll find Windows installation. It tells you a couple of requirements and it tells us how to download it. We'll just use the original download link over here. That's it. Save it and we'll open it as soon as it's done downloading. It's around 1.6 gigs, so it's quite big. This does work for Mac and Linux as well. If you're going to be using this program on anything but an NVIDIA graphics card, such as you have an AMD or Intel graphics card, download the OpenCL version instead. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see all of the different versions here as well. Anyways, we'll wait for this to finish downloading and we can open it. Sweet, there we go. So installing is super simple. It's as with everything else. You can choose to create a desktop shortcut, click install and bam, there you go. It'll begin extracting files and as soon as this is done, we can go ahead and launch it. I've moved it across to a different drive so it doesn't take up too much space, but they do mention that you should install it on your main Windows drive, so your C drive, otherwise it could become unstable. In my experience, it hasn't really done that to me yet, but if you choose to install this to a different location and it's unstable, try installing it to just your C drive first and seeing how that works. I have a smaller SSD, so I'd rather not waste too much space on it. When this program is done installing, it'll be a little bit bigger than 1.6 gigs. And of course, if you choose to download more models later, which we definitely will be doing, it'll take up even more space. My current installation is using around 4.8 gigs, but it could easily balloon in size depending on how many extra models you choose to download. Anyways, we'll wait for this to finish and it should open up pretty much immediately. There we go. Now, inside of him, all we need to do is choose an input file, choose an output location, punch in a bunch of settings, and just like that, we can separate our audio pretty much in one go. Let's find a song that we can use using this video sponsor, me. That's fun. Anyways, I've paid for Epidemic Sounds, so at least I can show you what it sounds like now on YouTube. So I'll find something with vocals and we'll throw it in here. Cool, this sounds good enough. I'll download this. And while I could download the stems for it in particular, obviously if you're using a mainstream song or something like that, you probably won't have the choice to use stems anyways. And that's kind of what we're creating here with this program. All we need to do now is select the input file. So I'll choose it and click open. Then we'll choose an output location, which is just a folder. So clicking it will take me to my downloads. I'll make a new folder called stems. Should be good enough, and we'll select it. There we go. Now we can customize exactly how we want this audio split. First of all, I would definitely recommend enabling GPU conversion if you have an NVIDIA GPU. Otherwise, if you have an AMD or Intel GPU and you downloaded the OpenCL version, you can tick this button as well. You don't need a graphics card to do this, but it is going to make it infinitely faster. Then, for the processing method, we have a bunch of different options here. Usually, what I'd choose is the ensemble mode, where we can use multiple different neural networks or AIs in order to split up the audio as best as possible. Then we can choose stems and pairs to split up. So just vocal and instrumental, drums or no drums, etc. And by clicking any one of these, you'll see a bunch of different models that pop up, allowing us to split things as we see fit. So for now, I'll just leave it as vocals slash instrumental and I'll leave everything on the max or min spec, which should be good enough to split everything as we need. This program goes from super simple to super advanced. I'm just showing you a quick rundown to show you how you can do this. Then there's a bunch of different models here that I have. You'll have fewer and you can download more by clicking the settings button right over here. Then in here under the download center, you can choose new VR arch models to download by ticking it and clicking the drop down as well as MDX and DMUX over here. Don't really worry about what these mean or what they do. There's a ton of different things here. You can mostly understand what they do by just reading them, for example, such as a karaoke model or bass, vocals, other drums, etc. Obviously, those are to separate those other stems from your audio. The ones that I downloaded and saw mentioned in a couple of different guides are mostly 
the VR Arc 7 HP2 UVR, MDX Net Instrumental 3, and High Quality Instrumental 3. Then scrolling down, also the DMUX V4 HD DMUX FT. So once again, settings, download center, VR, and you want to download the, let's see, VR Arc 7. So VR Arch 7. I don't think it shows because I've already downloaded it, but anyways, just download these models, which I have. It's probably going to be around five gigs or so, and you'll see the results. It gives you super good results, but you can definitely play around with this in any way that you want, splitting it up as you see fit. Anyways, once you've punched in your settings, I'm using these models once more, click the start processing button and wait for it to finish. It'll start running inference, which means it's actually using the models. It'll show you as it runs through each separate model. And depending on the length of your song, it could take quite a while or much less time. And of course, also depending on the speed and VRAM availability of your graphics card too. If you're using a CPU only version, it is going to take incredibly long. And the more models you choose to use, the more times it needs to run through the audio, which also means it'll happen a lot slower. So you can see it ran through once, separated the instrumental and vocals. Then it's running through with our next model, two out of four, and this will happen two more times. And the bigger it's successfully run through to completion. So let's give this a listen. I'll open up the folder. So for me, it was just downloads. And in here, we have the original file, as well as in the stems folder, an instrumental and a vocals copy. Inside of the ensembled outputs here, you'll find different versions as it went through different models. Anyways, these are the two main ones we'll be focusing on here, as this is what we tried to do. You can also choose things like the four stem ensemble to try and split it up slightly differently and see what results you get there. I'll run this through in just a moment, but for now, let's listen to the result. So let's throw the original file in here, as well as the vocals add instrumentals. All right, so let's give the original a listen. No one, no one, no one ever knows where we're heading, where this story goes. Cool. Now let's have a listen to the instrumental. Looks pretty similar. Let's play it once more. Very clean. There's very little interaction with the voice, or at least where it would have been left here. Surprisingly clean. Now let's have a listen to the vocals copy. Here we go. No one, no one, no one ever knows. Where we heading, where the story goes. Super clean. That's it. It's completely free and anyone can download and use it, even you or me. Let's give it a quick lesson with using the other options here, such as the four stem ensemble or multi stem, for example. If you hover over this little title up here, it'll tell you what it means. So let's see. Four stem should be vocals, other, bass and drums, I assume. So let's choose that one and let's stick with just HDD Max. Let's run this through to completion once more. All right, there we go. Running it through to completion once more. Now you can see it saved bass, drums, other and vocals all separately. And if we have a look inside of these stems folder, it should be much more populated now as I didn't delete the original files. But anyways, we have the let's see four over here that we just created. Once again, we can give all of these a quick listen. So vocals shouldn't have changed that much. No one, no one, no one ever knows where we're heading, where the story goes. Might even be a little bit cleaner. Obviously, playing around with different options is going to give you different results. Then we have drums, which obviously is just the drums. Super clean. There's a little bit of crossover with the guitar, but that's that. Then you also have the bass. With a tiny bit bleeding through from the drums as well. Then other should be all of the other instruments in the song. So it seems to be mainly the piano, guitar, and reverb effects of that kind synth as well. Anyways, you get the point. There's a ton of different options and you can really build it out to be whatever you want it to be just by downloading more models for it. If I combine all of these in something like Audition, for example, no one, no one, no one ever knows. we almost get the exact original file, but obviously they may be a little bit missing as we've split it out, but it's still pretty good. Where we heading, where the story goes. 
Sweet. Anyways, that's really it. We've run through the entire software. Obviously, you'll just need to play around with this more to find out what exactly works for you and what you're trying to do. I've shown you my suggested settings as well as how to split it into vocal and instrumental, as well as the main instrument types or stem types, I suppose. Anyways, it's fantastic software that I definitely recommend you play around with if this is something you're trying to do for music creation or just getting just the vocals, just the backing track, etc. It's fantastic. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My has been Troubleshoot. A special thank you to Superior Emerald for being an ultimate supporter. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.